Astronomers have used the James Webb Telescope to detect a premature monster that massively challenges our current understanding of galaxy evolution. Although the newly discovered Barred Spiral Galaxy, J0107A, existed 11.1 billion years ago, it already had a large, fully developed bulge and was 10 times more massive than the Milky Way is today. How this impressive twin of our home galaxy managed to crash our established models is currently a mystery, but that's not all. At the same time, the most comprehensive 3D mapping of the cosmos to date shows that we may have been dramatically mistaken about a fundamental pillar of the standard model, and that it is probably time to critically question Einstein's theory of relativity. But what mystery have the experts actually uncovered in detail? And what does this mean for our overall understanding of the universe? Stay tuned until the end and find out with us. A few weeks ago, researchers added a structure to space maps called Zulong, which immediately raised a number of pressing questions. As the oldest known spiral galaxy, this star cluster existed just one billion years after the Big Bang. Yet despite this, its mass and stage of development were already reminiscent of the Milky Way today. And that shouldn't be possible. After all, as far as we know, spiral galaxies need one thing above all else to develop, time. More specifically, researchers assume that it normally takes several billion years for this complex type of galaxy to develop its characteristic features. These include the bulge, in other words, the central heart of the galaxy, and of course, the long, curved spiral arms. Our model suggests that after their formation, these structures initially resemble irregular clusters of stars before gradually forming a flat disk of stars. Several billion years then pass before the spiral arms and bulge take shape. Or at least that's what we thought until now. But the bottom line is that Zulong's confusing discovery was only the beginning. Scientists have now found a galaxy of similar age that not only matches the dimensions of our Milky Way, but even exceeds them by a huge margin. In detail, it is once again a spiral galaxy, more precisely, a barred spiral galaxy, or simply a barred galaxy. Our galactic home is also classified in this special group, which owes its name to the central bar where the spiral arms begin. However, this straight structure is not only responsible for the galaxy's appearance, it also serves as an important gas supply route that drives star formation. Until now, our models had suggested that the characteristic bars only develop at a very late stage of galaxy evolution, which is why researchers assumed that barred galaxies had generally only existed for a few billion years. But as we now know, this was a mistake. In fact, observations made by the James Webb Telescope a good two years ago showed that barred galaxies shaped the face of the universe as early as 10 to 11 billion years ago. The galaxy Sears 2112 even appeared on the cosmic scene just 2 billion years after the Big Bang and may have formed another 600 million years before that. But now, astronomers have found a barred galaxy from the early universe that can confidently be called a colossus. Christened J0107a, its structure dwarfs everything known to date, which, in numerical terms, means that at 11.1 .1 billion years old, it has 10 times the mass and a star formation rate 300 times higher than the Milky Way. The Monster from the Early Universe Discovered by a team led by Shuo Huang from the National Astronomical Observatory of Japan, the researchers used images from the James Webb Telescope and data from the ALMA Radio Telescope Observatory in Chile for their study. The latter made it possible to trace the movement and distribution of gases in the galaxy revealing that the bar of J0107A transports enormous amounts of gas from the outer regions toward the center. In fact, the gas flows in at a rate of around 579 solar masses per year. By comparison, the corresponding value for local barred galaxies is only 0.01 to 50 solar masses per year. The rate of gas inflow therefore explains why star formation is so high in the inner region of these early galaxies. In fact, star formation there amounts to around 500 solar masses per year. With this background information in mind, Huang and his colleagues classify the discovery as follows. Quote, This galaxy is the most massive barred galaxy from this time and even heavier than the most massive galaxies in the local universe. 
J0107A is the most distant and massive galaxy with a fully developed bar. The gas inflow rate is high enough to fuel the intense star formation. At the same time, gas transport could also be responsible for the increased activity of the central supermassive black hole. Well, those are the bare facts, but at the same time, we must not forget that this early galaxy monster stands in stark contrast to our models of galaxy evolution in several respects. This applies above all to the factor of time. The idea that barred galaxies grow only gradually and slowly is reduced to absurdity by the advanced stage of development of J0107A. But the unusually high proportion of molecular gases in the bar also leaves scientists scratching their heads. 70% of its mass consists of gas and only 30% of stars. And the fact that this is problematic for our overall understanding becomes clear when we listen to Deanne Fisher's comment on the matter. The astrophysicist at Swinburne University of Technology said, According to current models, the gas-rich environments of galaxies in the early cosmos prevented bar formation. But the latest observations now reveal an early bar galaxy and gas dynamics that were not thought possible at that time. The findings thus represent a direct challenge to this theory. In other words, one could say that our models only hold true until they are challenged by an observation that contradicts them, and it's precisely such observations that the James Webb Telescope is now providing with almost regularity. But what applies on a relatively small scale also appears to apply to the big picture. Research elsewhere is now shaking one of the pillars of our cosmological worldview, and we must come to terms with the idea that Einstein's theory of relativity is not correct in all respects. Farewell to the cosmological constant? Today, we know that the universe is not a rigid, unchanging structure, but rather a construct that has been continuously expanding since its creation 13.8 billion years ago. However, it does not do so at a constant speed, but at an ever-increasing rate. To explain the accelerated expansion of the cosmos, experts have postulated the mysterious dark energy, which is believed to be the driving force behind this unexpected acceleration. However, our knowledge of dark energy is, to put it mildly, limited. It has not been directly proven experimentally, and its physical interpretation is largely unclear. Nevertheless, according to our standard model, it has a constant density in time and space, which means that we are dealing with a constant. Well, at least that's what we believed for a long time. But recently, there have been growing signs that something is wrong with this cosmological constant. Astronomical measurements have revealed significant discrepancies in the speed of cosmic expansion, showing that it's apparently much faster, in reality, than predicted by the standard model based on Einstein's theory of relativity. Furthermore, evidence was uncovered last year showing that the force of dark energy is not actually constant, but this suspicion is now being further substantiated. But what happened? Well, you're asking the right question. The foundation for the new doubts about the cosmological constant was laid by data from DESI, an experiment in Arizona specifically designed to study dark energy. Using DESI, researchers have now analyzed over 15 million galaxies and quasars, or in other words, active galactic nuclei, and use this data to create the largest and most detailed 3D map of the universe to date. In order to understand the nature of dark energy, the DESI researchers evaluated not only the redshift of galaxies and quasars, but also subtle patterns in the distribution of galaxies in the form of so-called baryonic acoustic oscillations. These are density waves that formed in the early cosmos through the interaction of gravity and radiation pressure causing galaxies and galaxy clusters to form at fixed intervals. Scientists can measure these distances at various distances, thereby gaining information about the expansion rate and consequently about the effect of dark energy at different points in time. Ultimately, the mapping showed that the measurement results for dark energy, of all things, exhibit striking deviations. Specifically, this means that, according to the model, the effect of dark energy should be zero minus one at omega zero. However, the DESI measurements yielded a value of omega zero equal to minus 0 0.838, which means that the effect of dark energy is not constant, but has weakened over time. When the new DESI data is combined with measurements from other maps, the deviation from the standard model is between 2.4 and 4.2 sigma. According to experts, 
This means that we are slowly but surely heading toward the point of no return. Because in physics, a value of 5 sigma is officially considered a discovery. Conversely, the results confirm doubts about the standard model and suggest that the constant entered there is not a constant at all. In the most extreme case, this means that our cosmological worldview and Einstein's theory of relativity are not correct in all respects, and that it's looking more and more likely that we will have to revise our standard model. But how are the experts dealing with this mystery? Are there already any solutions to this astronomical predicament? Well, possibly. Some alternative theories assume a so-called phantom crossing of dark energy. According to these theories, the effect of dark energy has changed in such a way that it crossed the value of the standard model constant during the course of cosmic evolution. At times it was above it, then below it. However, before the standard model is finally shelved, the five sigma hurdle must be cleared. Despite this, the data collected so far already gives reason to revisit some fundamental questions. It is now up to theoretical physicists to gather new insights based on the results. At the same time, experts are pinning their hopes on the Euclid Space Telescope, which was also developed to examine cosmological building blocks such as dark energy and dark matter in greater detail than ever before. And if you take a closer look at the subscribe button now, you'll never miss another video from us. Click on the thumbnail and subscribe to stay up to date from now on. We'll see you soon.